welcome back to the uh, validation video series and uh, here I'm going to be talking about another important concept of um, that you need to learn so uh, let me take a liberty of deleting some things I just like to delete stuff so I don't know why but um, that's me so for example let's say that um, what I want to talk about here is um, a another property of um, validation control of actually uh, server controls but uh, most especially the button so if I have two buttons on here one for register and one for cancel uh, you know I want to cancel say for example I want to cancel the action and um, by clicking on this button I want it to you know just um, take me to for example let's say clicking on this button uh, server dot transfer transfer let's go to another page um, what page should we go to um, default default dot ASPX um, by clicking on the buttons we want it to take us to the so what I want to do is um, before I run it I want to delete delete this required field field validator so there is no validation control so let's see if that works right so if I click on the cancel a it transfer me to the home page you see so that means before validation controls before we had the validation controls our button works perfectly so now let's add um, our validation control let's add one of them which is the required field validator which means this field must be <laughs> required so now do you know the functions of the required field validator it means there must always be a data being input in the f field that is validating so let's set the uh, control to validate let's say text box 3 okay so control to validate will be text box 3 okay so we validating this so that means if there is no data in this text box uh, our button is not supposed to work right so let's try that so now we have two buttons one is supposed to be used to send information to the server the other one is supposed to cancel out it's supposed to cancel us and just take us to the home page because we're not interested to register so if I click on the register I get the error field which is normal so what happens if I click on the cancel you see it doesn't perform the action that we want us to perform it didn't take us to the um, uh, on page it's supposed to take us to the default dot ASPX so that's what we've written behind but because this validation country is actually preventing it is a JavaScript inside the browser that is preventing any message to this to be sent to the server so that's why the uh, cancel button doesn't work as well so how does how do we make sure that our button works regardless so what we do is we set the courses validation to be false is a property uh, I'll show you what it is. You select the button and you look for courses validation. So, whether the button causes validation to fire, so that's the um, this is the function. So, at the moment, we the courses validation is set to true, so which means it's going to fire the validation ball. If we set it to false, then we'll be good to go. Uh, let me see if we can use submit behavior indicate where the button renders as a submit button okay yes it does so this one indicates whether the button renders a submit button and um, right so now that we've set out to force we can go ahead and run our application and we should see that it doesn't matter what the validation is doing on the page is not the 
the cancel button doesn't have any business to do with validation so if I click on register which one which we haven't set the courses validation to be false we get the error message but if we click on the cancel button we don't get any message we didn't get any uh, error message and it took us straight to the um, home page so um, can, what what um in one of my videos that I showed um, I showed you how to um, protect the members area I told you that there are two types of code that you can write to transfer your users even though they have differences but both of them can be used if you actually check what happened here what we came back we came from a page this this is the page we came from which is the validation page dot ASPX and when we click on the cancel button we did a server dot transfer what happened in the tra server just transfer us to this page and as you can see the URL has not changed so because it's a transfer from the server so another code that you can use instead of using the server dot transfer you can use response response dot redirect redirect so this one will redirect you to the default dot axpx um, because it redirects as well you can input uh, a an, another URL maybe um, URL of another page in this area so let's try that so let's try this first this one causes validation but this one doesn't cause any validation and it tr and it direct redirects us to the default as you can see this one changes there are advantages and disadvantages of uh, which one of the, whichever one of them you want to use and we're going to be talking about that right now is this is off topic but I just think I should mention it to you so thank you for watching and I uh, hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video as well